Tad, you were in uh, year five here at Maryland. Uh, talk about, you know, what you're excited about and, uh, you know, what's going on here. Big things going on here, man. It's exciting in College Park, that's for sure. I mean, to have three All-Americans in the room next year, you know, the incoming freshmen being around those guys and, you know, with Let's coming back and, you know, the guys with red shirts. So it's, it's very exciting here in College Park. And just, you know, this being the first class I've been through for five years, you know, it's, it's exciting to see how they progress and, you know, where they started from and where they're at now. You know, I think uh, it's going to be definitely a sad day when they walk down and they graduate in May. So, but I'm going to cherish the whole year, and it's going to be a fun one. Okay, 10th in the country. The bar is most certainly high under Coach McCoy. Uh, what types of things do you think you're going to add? You know, you and him together, a year together is obviously pretty good chemistry. You know, what are you going to do to climb further up into that top 10? Well, I think we, you know, we started right after the NCAA term ended. You know, I think, uh, you know, the guys saw where we're at and, know where we want to get to and I think uh, they put the work in this summer and you know I think that's where it, you know where it starts I mean the summer wrestling is definitely you know an area where you can kind of fine-tune the little things and you know just kind of you know take your time to work on things to get better you know sometimes without coaches around and sometimes with coaches around so I think it's you know I think the summer they've really you know, bought into it a lot more you know wanting to get on that top podium so I think you know I think you know just everyone coming together, and it's going to head in the right direction that way. Hey, you say the right direction. You know, do you guys believe, honestly, that you can win a national title here at Maryland? I truly believe we can. I mean, if everyone puts everything together, I mean, we're thinking we got to get a couple to the platform, you know, a couple into the finals, and then a couple high All-Americans on the backside. You know, it's kind of funny, year in and year out, the scoring system, you know, how many All-Americans you need, to, you know, are different from each year. You know, sometimes it's, you know, a team will have five All-Americans to win it. Sometimes you need eight All-Americans to win it. You know, sometimes you need, you know, a couple finalists, a couple champs. So, it, you know, you know how the system and everything's changing, it's, it's different from year to year, so you just never know. We're just, you know, we just want to get the most out of our guys, and if they reach their potential of what they can get to, everything else work together. You talk about potential that they can get to. How high do you feel, you know, like your three returning All-Americans? Obviously, uh, Hudson Taylor's a two-time All-American, third twice, correct? Mm -hmm. He's a pinner. He can pin people. You know, what's what's the what's the expectation for those guys next year? You know, not third, obviously. You know, what are the expectations for your returning all Americans? You know, you got guys that you held out that were ACC champs and qualifiers. And what are the expectations for those guys next year? They all want to win national titles next year. You know, I think uh, you know they have one shot, one year left. So I think it's it's all or nothing. I mean, you know, they got to reach for that 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 larger goal, that that bigger goal, and you know. And that's all they have. I mean, with one year left, it's all or nothing, you know. So I think, uh, you know, I think they're just going to all lay it out on the line, and they've started once the season ended to kind of carry that forward and get that done. What do you think? You, you know, you're kind of a guy, you know, fourth and fifth in the country. What, what do you think you could relate to someone? Maybe you know, as a senior, that feeling you didn't have, that you know, not taking that national title home. How can you explain that to someone? You know, as a senior. You know, you don't want to walk out with that feeling. How do you explain that to a kid? You don't want to look back. You don't want to have any regrets after it's all over because you're always going to remember how your season ended. You want to end up on top, you know, because you have the rest of your life to, you know, to think about what could have, what should have. Let's get it done now, you know, because it's now or never. All right, there's one thing you'd like people to know about what you're doing here in College Park. You, not just the staff. I think Coach McCoy spoke to that pretty well. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to get your guys, you know, into that top ten and even higher? Good one. You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> I catch you off guard? I like that one. What am I doing to get them? I'm, make, I'm making sure they believe in themselves. I'm making sure they believe it's all. It's this year. Put it all out on the line. I mean, you know, we set the schedule up to get them ready, to get them prepared to win a national title come March. And, you know, we saw it this year with Hudson, the, the grueling schedule he went through week in and week out. And, you know, when it came to the NCAA tournament, he was ready. You know, and, you know, and I think... When we sat down and got the schedule ready for this year, we kind of looked at the three All-Americans coming back and the other red shirts that are coming off that and just kind of set it towards them to get them prepared and get them set for those three days in March. And I think that, you know, when they get out to Omaha, I think they're going to be ready and we're going to be able to put it all together and not look back and uh, just look forward and take that picture. All right, Todd.
awesome experience today. Thanks for all the tours, man. Yeah. You uh, didn't go get to do your uh, trapeze thing that you're gonna I do. Not, I did not get to do well, it. Not rain, We're but uh, post postpone that. Po postpone to, to a later date, but uh, hey, thanks for the time. Thanks for the tours. Yeah. And I uh, can't wait to see what uh, what the Terps can do next year. Flo has seen everything we have here. There's nothing left. The only thing Flo needs to see now is come to one of our matches. They've seen the weight room, the wrestling room, the academic sports center. They've seen the, the graves. We've seen the 40-yard dash, <laughs> the outdoor pool. You guys have seen everything. Now you need to go. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Todd. Thanks a lot.